I don't want to do this. I really don't, but I have to. If I'm going to address this, I'm going to sit here and watch this. So let's watch Tom McDonald and Ben Shapiro facts. You know, the, the thing the thing that I, I, I there's, there's a lot of reasons why this this song is problematic just for its existence, which I'm going to go over later. Now, I'm I'm going to divide this into a couple of sections here. I'm going to actually watch the thing to watch the performance itself. Then I'm going to go over the lyrics and actually see what's going on here, because I'm sorry, these two look like a couple of middle schoolers trying to. This almost looks like an SNL play, like like a segment on SNL, but it's being played straight. All right, let's do this. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, but here we go. Now, of course, there's no subtitles or closed captioning for this. Why would there be? They call me offensive, controversial. There's only two genders, boys and girls. They can't cancel my message because I'm not... What do those two lines have to do with each other? At all? The biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist, yeah, all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If I'm gonna address all this, but so far the lyrics have all the cohesion of kinetic sand. What's Ben doing just standing there? He. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Liz, and my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison a month. There's better rapping in Hannah Montana. This ain't rap. This ain't money. Cars and clothes. We ain't what? Selling. We ain't pushing guns. Ain't remote and stripper poles. We won't turn your son. I'm hearing so much that I need to talk about once this is over because... You man. Problem that you can't this is this is showing me once again that conservatives really have three jokes what the fuck is Ben doing just standing there he looks like a ventriloquist dummy that's waiting to get pulled out for the act okay all right so the video itself is Tom here just getting recorded in front of a was it two or three different sets and then Ben giving a performance with all the energy he probably goes into having sex with his own wife. Now, I started talking a lot in the beginning because the lyrics weren't making sense. So let's actually break this down lyric by lyric. I'm not going to play the video again because I, I wanted to have subtitles on while watching this, but there's no subtitles available for this. You would think... Anyway, let's just actually look at the lyrics and... Let's see where the problem is. Let, let's let's start here with this first with this first verse. By the way, how many actual verses are there? Because I feel like we repeated the chorus like eight times. So it's one, two verses, a bridge, chorus three times. Like I said, the first two lines of this have absolutely no relation to each other. They call me offensive, controversial. There's only two genders, boys and girls. Also, none of this rhymes. I'm, I'm looking at this thing controversial girls controversial world that that that's if that's supposed to be a rhyme that's a really sloppy one um claim it's racist all right is right you can't rhyme all right and right it's like putting baby at the end of each one of your lines don't get it pathetic that's not a rhyme either progressives protect it where the american flag okay so verse one there's already absolutely no rhyming structure. You don't have to rhyme, but it helps. Like I said, first two lines have nothing to do with each other. And by the way, for a song that's talking about facts, you know, we have to talk about facts. You don't know what gender actually means. There's an actual scientific definition for what gender is, and you seem to either not know it or are willfully ignoring it. So right off the bat on line two, you're not actually speaking facts.
Claim I'm racist. Yeah, all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. Nobody's telling you to be ashamed because you're white. That is the right interpretation of the observation of systemic racism and profiting off of systems built on racism even decades ago. You're not understanding the thing that you're mad about. Go woke, go broke. Uh, no evidence that that's a thing that actually happens. I believe uh, Disney is still kicking. Amazer Bush is still kicking. Pro-choice, pronouns, pro-love. You're progressives, but you ain't pro-gun. No one wants to protect it. Yeah. You know, I, I looked up this guy and apparently he doesn't like to be labeled, you know, liberal, progressive, all these different things. And yet these are all conservative talking points. I've yet to see something that was progressive or on the left. Where are the American flags at? You're Canadian, you dingbat. They've been taken down. They've all been replaced with BLM flag. They've all been replaced. Fact. There are no American flags hanging anywhere. They're all BLM or rainbow. That is a patently false statement. This ain't rap. Okay, so you agree that you're, you don't, you're not a rapper. Is that what I'm getting from this? This ain't rap? This ain't money, cars, and clothes. Now, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit because when you say this ain't rap, this ain't money, I would like to point your attention to Ben Shapiro's verse. Because the entirety of his verse is about how rich and successful he is. He's bragging about how much money he makes. So for you to say, this ain't money, you have a verse in the song bragging about wealth. Also, we ain't pushing guns. One verse before, you're, you're complaining that people are not pro-gun. So you're pushing guns. Won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. No, uh, what the right has done is um, radicalize an entire generation so that, you know, things like this are normal. But they're so well dressed and nice and have jobs and things like that. But they're not thugs. No, 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 not thugs. No, 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 no. I don't care if I offend you, I was put here to upset you. You know, it's been my experience that people who generally don't care if they upset others don't have to remind people consistently, including in the video itself, that they don't care that they offend people. They just say what they say. In fact, it's almost like people who keep saying, I don't care if I offend others, are trying to absolve themselves of blame as though the fact that they feel no guilt means that they can keep doing it. You defunded the police, now there's no one to protect you. Police are still funded. We, um, The U.S. still has the wealthiest police force in the world. Um, also, to defund the police means that you still have services to address things like mental health and mental health emergencies. Do you not, again, you don't seem to understand the thing that you're complaining about. And then you say, I hope to offend you. I don't care if I offend you. Okay, so do you care or do you not care? Because you can't say you don't care if you offend someone and then say that you hope you offend them. Which one is it, Tom? I asked myself, what would Ben do? Now, th this is an entire, entirely um, insulting statement. Um, it's not really a, a, a breakdown of the argument that's being put here. But if you ever find yourself asking, what would Ben Shapiro do? You need to reevaluate your life choices. Also, I mentioned this in the uh, in the video proper, but um, the, the, the right has three jokes. One of them being, my pronouns are joke. And it's in the song. I mean, the same joke the Babylon Bee uses every other week. Now, the thing that really is amazingly grating about Shapiro's verse is that it sounds nothing like what he talks like in real life. So it sounds absolutely disingenuous for him to be using these phrases and these words. Also, the fact that he's sprinkling in black vernacular when he has gone on the air and said, in no uncertain terms, that rap is not music. And if you think it's music, you're an idiot. So for him to be doing this smacks of either a, a desperate cash grab, proof that he doesn't believe the things that he says. I mean, it, it just goes to show he there, there is absolutely no integrity here. 
This is the most phony sounding verse I've ever heard in any rap or hip hop song. Please tell me that you would ever hear Ben Shapiro in any other context use the phrase, homie, I'm epic, don't be a WAP. Also, Ben, WAP came out several years ago. It's your own personal Vietnam. I understand the horror of accidentally revealing to the world that you have no idea how to pleasure a woman or even the most basic understanding of female anatomy. But Ben, a WAP is not a bad thing. In fact, I, I believe, I believe uh, many, many people with vaginas would agree that if, if they are indeed wet, this is a good thing. This is a pleasurable thing. Uh, this is the buildup to something which, you know, many look forward to. So, again, I don't think you understand the things you're saying. <laughs> also, dog, it's a yarmulke, homie, no cap. I hate describing things as, as cringe. Um, because I think you should be you should be proud of the things that, that you like, of who you are. I don't think you should be ashamed of, of any of that. But I think that line qualifies as cringe in the most negative connotation possible. And like I mentioned before, this entire verse is Ben Shapiro boasting about his ratings, his viewership, his money. Now, Ben, as a lawyer, I'm sure you're familiar with the concept of arguing from authority. Now, that's a fallacy. I'm sure you've studied fallacies. Um, you know, an argument from, from popularity, even. Um, just because something is popular or something has a lot of ratings doesn't necessarily make it good or correct. Because if we're talking about what is, who is the most popular musician in the world, I think Coco Melon has you to beat. If we're going by, by ratings and money made, I'm pretty sure Coco Melon has you both beat. Now we already talked about the chorus, nothing else to say here. We have the last actual verse. You mad, you mad, I guess it's cool to be the victim. Motherfucker, you have a whole song called White Boy complaining about how being white makes you the victim. Shut the fuck up. You sad, you sad, you sad, just trying to get attention, being triggered and all you... Again, White Boy. Also, can I take a moment to just, um, just, just, just point out the absolute lunacy of somebody using a genre pioneered and started by black Americans in order to talk about societal issues affecting their community, including racism, by the way. And then having a white Canadian use that genre to make a song about how difficult it is to be white and how being white means that you're the real victim here. And then we end on that goddamn chorus again. There's nothing else for me to say, just to say again, this is one of the worst written things I've ever seen in my life. The song itself is, there's nothing particularly spectacular about it. The video is flat. Ben's performance, number one rapper in the country, seriously? Uh, there's more energy in a dead AA battery. So there you go, that's the lyrics. That's the video. I'm gonna probably go drink bleach and forget everything that I just saw right now. But no, I can't because I have to edit this monstrosity. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you later.